the NHS recently invited members of the media to tour the intensive care unit at the new health care complex in St. Catharines. So the ICU unit is 14 beds. There's a step down area, we call it the PCU, that's another 14 beds. Um, those are for somewhat less sick patients, but still requiring uh, fairly intensive monitoring. Um, so 28 beds total on, uh, on this unit. One of the important things is, uh, is that it's single rooms for every patient. There's a lot of space, there's a lot of natural light. It's really designed from the ground up for infection control, which has been an issue with older hospitals and, uh, and something we struggle with in hospitals uh, all the time. The new unit is really designed to help prevent, uh, help prevent a lot of that trouble. It's designed to be a good place for staff to work, to provide excellent observation of the patients, and uh, to provide the patients with an area that's, uh, that's you know, as comfortable as an ICU can be, um, and also provide the ability for the families to come and, uh, to come and visit the patients uh, you know, as much as they can in an ICU. What are the major differences between here and the general? Well, it's pretty huge. As the general, as you know, is uh, is many years old, and uh, and the ICU is uh, is not uh, up to date at all. Again, the fact that the this one's all single rooms, large rooms, the design in terms of being able to keep the equipment off the floor. We have articulating arms in every room to get the equipment off the floor to keep everything clean and uh, allow the room to be cleaned better. The other really big thing between here and, and, and St. Catharines General is the ability for the nurses uh, to have a place to sit and observe the patients very well uh, and for other staff to interact with them and see everything all in one place rather than trying to, uh, trying to scramble in the middle of a hallway to, uh, to get the relevant information. Old technology has a renewed importance in the ICU. We have a pneumatic tube system in the hospital now that will allow us to, to send specimens, uh, to send requisitions, uh, medications from one area of the hospital to the other in uh, essentially the same technology as we used in uh, ships in the late 1800s. Uh, it's, a, it's an air tube system with a, with a canister. It's obviously updated so there's digital address for where it's going and uh, allows you to quickly move things from one place in the hospital to the other uh, without having to, uh, to have somebody come and, and carry it uh, physically. What's left to do in the ICU uh, after today? One of the main things is to bring in the articulating arms to be installed. Uh, those get installed later. Obviously, all the equipment needs to come in, and that's, that's uh, done as, uh, as late as is, uh, is practical. Um, the macerator units that are uh, um, in the ICU rooms are, are to be installed. These are units that allow uh, uh, bedpans and uh, urinals and things to be basically just shredded and disposed of in a sterile fashion. Those are still to be installed in the ICU rooms. Just your final thoughts of the ICU uh, itself. It's really exciting. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a beautiful area. I can't wait to uh, to work here. I can't wait to you know have my patients uh, here instead of in a uh, in an older unit. Um, it's been you know tremendously exciting to see it go from the plans to the reality. Uh. Stay tuned to TV Kojiko over the next few months as we continue to provide in-depth coverage of the new St. Catharines Health Complex. Reporting for the source, I'm Anthony Luongo.